how are you? Welcome back to another fun video, kind of also in my review series of things. I had people request that I review boxes that personal stylists put together, like Stitch Fix, want to bolt type boxes. So that is what we're doing today. I have five kind of, we'll get to that, boxes. I'll be opening, I'll be letting you know the cost of everything, my thoughts, and then we will try the things on. I'm gonna preface this by saying so much of this is opinionated. I'm pretty picky about clothes. I have a very specific style and I think it's gonna be difficult for the boxes to really find things I actually like. So I'm going to let you know my opinion of the actual clothes, but then kind of try to take a step back and let you know the quality and the value and everything like that. I also totally know that expectations shape my opinion. So for example, Frank and Oak is one of the brands. I have admired them from afar forever. So I have very high expectations for them. And just based off packaging, this is Nadine West. They were kind enough to send me a box, but just based off their packaging and their marketing, my expectations for them are pretty low. So that being said, perhaps my review of Frank and Oak would be worse and perhaps my review of Nadine West would be better just because of my expectations. So I'm going to try to be as unbiased as possible. Okay, where should we start? How about with Wantable? I have a link down below that's like a unique link for me if you wanna go look into purchasing this box because they were nice enough to send this one to me. So a little bit about Wantable. Wantable has a $20 styling fee, which then whatever you purchase, that styling fee will apply to the purchase. It also covers shipping. They send you seven things. Out of all the quizzes I took, I was the most impressed with this quiz because it was the most in depth. Based off my personal style, you could also go through, they call them the edits, and you can see things and you can either vote yes I like this and no I don't like this. And off of the edit, I honestly only liked about 5% of the things. So based off my personal style, there wasn't a lot, but out of that 5% of the personal things that I liked, I loved. And you can put it in a request for those things. So I requested some things I really, really loved. The quiz was very in depth, so I have high hopes. I think if the quiz was vague and if there wasn't the style edit, I wouldn't like much from this box, but I think they did a really good job of formulating the quiz. I have no idea what's in here, but my hopes are high. So. With that, let us open. All right, this is cute. It has, on the outside it says the world's easiest step, so try it on, check out and review, send it back and snap a photo. I love everything with tissue paper because it feels like a gift. On top, there's a few things. This says your closet is going to thank you. Oh, it shows everything in there, so I'm not gonna look too close. It has a stylist note back from the person. It says, hi Christian, that's my legal name if you don't know. Mikkel was my middle name. Now it's just a nickname. It's great that you're taking advantage of stream. Unfortunately, due to availability, I wasn't able to include the pieces you requested. However, dang, all the things I was excited about. However, I did try to include similar items. Even though I wasn't able to include the bell sleeve top and ivory, I did include it in a seafoam green, which reminded me of the floral dress you had posted on your Instagram. Oh, that was nice. You actually checked out my Instagram. I appreciate the effort, so blah, blah, blah. Okay, I am impressed with her effort. Let's see how she did. Oh yeah. Another thing about Wantable, they also have a fitness edit. So you could choose a style edit, which is like regular day-to-day -day clothes, or a fitness edit, which is all just like gym clothes. Let's be honest though, gym clothes ain't just for the gym. This looks like a little jersey top. This is valued at $48. I would wear this more as like a sleep shirt. The quality feels very nice. It's not really my style unless I was lounging around the house, but I do lounge around the house quite a bit. Oh, this is the one she was talking about, the bell top. So this is a top that I specifically requested because I love the cut. I definitely would have preferred it in white, but I also do need some new color in my in my wardrobe. This is valued at $79. The brand is Vince Camuto. It's very lightweight. Uh, I feel like you could possibly see a bra through it, but I do love the style of this. That style is very much my style. I don't know what this is. This is by Z Supply Clothing. It looks like a uh, sleeveless tank, black wrap top. It's the wrap tank in black, and it's valued at $44. This one I'm not that impressed with. It's not my style, and it doesn't feel that expensive. There's actually a thread. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge it until I try it on. Classic white t-shirt, can't go wrong with that. Let's see what it's valued at. $35. If I'm being completely honest, that seems a little steep. This is just like a basic t-shirt. We'll see how it fits. This seems to be a almost like workout material 
cardigan meets blazer valued at $88 so that's pretty pricey but we will give it a shot and see how it looks on my first impression is it's not quite my style but I feel like this is something that could be my style if it fits right so we'll see on that there is a pair of jeans these are valued at 118 the brand is Mavi jeans are very hard to fit me right but I like this wash I feel like I like this cut they might be capris I have very long legs so if these fit well I think I'd like them. Oh, size 27, 29. I'm definitely like a size 24, 25. This is a waist 27. So something tells me these might not fit, but I do like the style. Quality feels very nice. Oh, and a bag. Okay. This is valued at $52. It's cute. I like this bag. The color of leather probably wouldn't be my first choice. From an unbiased point of view, it's good quality. It has a little bit unique. I feel like $52 for a bag is very reasonable. There's a fun additional pouch up here. So at first impression, love the top I requested. I like the bag. I like the jeans if they would fit. And then the rest I'm iffy on, but let's try some on and see my final thoughts. Okay, first for Wantable, I'm trying on the thing I'm most excited about, which was this top that I indirectly picked out in a different color and I do really like it. I think it's really cute. I have to admit I'm wearing my pajama bottoms right now. So sorry. <laughs> Less cropped than I thought it would be. It, I wish it was a little bit higher, just so I could wear it with like some high-waisted jeans. But I think it will be my favorite thing from this box. Yeah, yeah, this is a no-go for me. It feels just cheap. Um, I guess it's flattering, but it feels kind of like, I don't know, it feels out of date to me. Also just more working professional than I actually am. Speaking of working professional though, let's try on that blazer over this top. Okay, this blazer does fit pretty well. It's like a cottony material, so it's very comfortable. Zippers are a fun detail, so pockets are nice. Yet again, this is more like business professional blazer than like trendy LA blazer. I feel like it'd be really cute for a young working professional. I am not a working professional. I'm a working amateur. I probably wouldn't really wear this that frequently, but it's very soft and feels like good quality. Okay, this jersey top is so soft and it actually matches the pajama shorts I'm wearing now, which is a sign that I'm gonna keep it as winter pajamas. Um, not my style to wear out and about, but it's so freaking soft. You know I love soft things. So I'm gonna keep this as pajamas. Okay, I did not realize this shirt has like a tie detail on it. So it's something, it's not that flattering on me. And I'm wearing a very light colored bra right now but you can still see through it so the quality of this I forgot what I said it was what $35 I don't think that's worth it while I'm wearing this though let's try on those jeans okay I'm gonna show you a shot of the jeans but before I do that I just wanted to tell you they are loose um, but they fit me a little bit better than I expected but they're very low rise and I'm not really a low rise person I do love the color I do love the distress but it doesn't fit nor is like the cut really my cut so it looks like it fits a little bit better on camera but these are pretty dang loose they're also such low rise pants like low rise pants just accent the worst part of my hips in my opinion but they're very stretchy I feel like if they were high rise and if they were my size I would like them overall I will keep the purse I will keep the blue top which was the one that I picked out in white I will keep the very comfortable sleep shirt but the rest I probably wouldn't keep so I feel like for the first time of a stylist box where the stylist doesn't really know me or my sizes yet it was pretty good next is Frank and Oak <laughs> um, I don't have that box uh, I will let you know everything about the ordering process and my thought but there was a mishap and I will get to that. But Frank and Oak is a brand I've admired for a long time. Like their advertising is on point. Their aesthetic is incredible. I feel like the pieces that I see on social media are so my style. So I had always wanted to try them. They were not willing to partner with me. So I went ahead and just purchased my own box. Normally there's a $35 styling fee, which is the most expensive out of all the boxes. I found a promo code. I think now it is no longer valid or else I'd share it with you because it was one week and only. Try it risk-free. So without the styling fee. So I went in, the quiz was not very in depth at all, but I, you know, trusted them a lot because everything seemed to be pretty cute. And I just went ahead and selected, they had like price range options and I just selected cheapest, 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 cheapest. Because realistically, I would not keep anything that was expensive. First, as soon as I click submit, I get notifications on bank alerts and I had a $204 bank alert and I was like, uh, so I reached out to their customer service and you're charged for everything up front. You're only refunded for what you return. So that I did not necessarily love. My box never showed up, so I went ahead and tracked my package and it said it was delivered on Monday. Today's Friday, and this was all today. And so I went ahead and reached out to the customer service and thankfully I have a ring doorbell that records all the activity at my door and I say it was never delivered. And as proof, they asked me if I had any sort of proof. I screen recorded all of the movement from my doorbell from that day and I sent it in to them. And after further research, 
This was not their fault, this was UPS's fault. Somehow, my correct address was on the order, on the box, but UPS had my old address from over a year ago in their system and somehow got it confused and delivered it to my old house. Long story short, Frank and Oak is refunding me. Um, their customer service is great. I am very thrilled with that. UPS made the mistake, not them. I got to see what they chose for me, so I will enter the pictures here. So these are the three things in their prices. The embroidered cami dress in white for $110. Mind you, this $204 charge was for three pieces. So this is, I mean, it's not not cute. I just would never pay $110 for it. Would I really gravitate towards it in a store? Effortless, it's cute, but it's a little too, almost like 2008. You know what I mean? The next thing that they were going to send is the short sleeve printed blouse in gray pink for $69.50. This one I think is cute. I would totally wear. It's still not the vibe of everything I'd seen on their social media. It's like granny cute. If someone gave it to me, I would be thrilled to wear it. I would not want to pay $70 for it though. I know that that's what quality pieces cost but just me personally, I wouldn't want to keep it. And the thing that I was probably least impressed with was the drop shoulder French Terry sweatshirt in sunlight yellow for $59.50. Sweatshirts are totally a trend. They're not really my thing. I would be down to try them. I guess I kind of wear some like more bell sleeve cutesy sweatshirts from Madewell, but this one doesn't seem like it'd be very flattering on me. The color is not really my choice of color, nor would I pay $60 for a sweatshirt when you can find them at thrift stores. <laughs> So all in all, I don't think I would have kept any of those things. Um, I'm still waiting for my refund since I never got any of those things. It's three to five business days. But like I said in the beginning, my expectations for Frank and Oak were the highest, which is why I was disappointed. I think if I went in with no expectations, I would have been somewhat pleased besides the mishaps and the high price. I decided to review a men's box because I know that y'all really appreciated that in my subscription box review. So I had the husband open that one and we will jump to that footage now. All right, we have the husband here. So this is the box, they sent it to us. It's called the Menlo Club, which was really cool. Oh look yet. For $60 a month, you receive two to three things and they are designed in-house in Los Angeles. They're also running a special right now that when you sign up, you get a free pair of shoes and a free pair of sunglasses. So, wow. you wanna open it? Can I open it now? Yeah, so this is brand New Republic. Oh, we're gonna make you trendy. This is the box. You've never owned like cool shoes. I beg to differ. They're very white. They are very white. I don't know if you can keep them clean, but those are so freaking cool. I really hope you wear them. I like the little stripe detail on the back. They're nice. So, sunglasses. Let's check out the sunglasses. Oh, don't look yet. Okay. One at a time. A little box of sunglasses. This is the brand 5-4. Oh, these are cool. <laughs> they might be too cool for you. <laughs> these are, uh, make sure that your man's is very cool or else he's not going to be able to pull these off. I actually think you really pull them off. Those are really cool. They're really nice. Honestly, I might very, steal them from you. They're very like uh, sturdy. Sturdy too. They look cool on you too. Couple accessories it looks like. You always need belts. A belt. Oh, it's stretchy. <laughs> Moving on. No show socks. Do you own any no show socks? Yeah, you bought me a pair. Just something very practical. And it what looks like shoes? two shirts. These shirts I think are the most you. I can see you wearing this to work. That's actually really cool. That's just a very classic blue plaid button down, also 5'4 brand. We'll have to have you try at least one of these on. This one's very you. Yeah, I think you actually have, have a, a couple of these. You have a couple shirts like this, just not as quality. Oh, that is so you. That's me, but that's that. Overall, what do you think? Good. It's really nice stuff in here. It's actually very, very quality. Considering the fact that your first month you get all of this for $60 is pretty insane. You wanna try one shirt on real quick? Dang, babe. You look really cool. Shirt. Oh, oh tag. Wait. Tag, yes. I think you should wear that today. You look really cool. You wanna look in the mirror? Feel like a new man? Huh? It actually fits you perfectly. It's hard to find shirts that fit. You look so cool. Okay, we will go ahead and jump to this very pink package. This is Nadine West. They were kind enough to send this to me for free, so thank you very much. I gotta say, my expectations for this one are the lowest, just based off of their branding. Their branding seems the least in line with my aesthetic. It seems kind of very like bright and pink and this. But one thing I do really like is there is no styling fee. There is just a shipping charge that does apply towards a purchase. So if you do keep something, it's free shipping. There was a quiz. It wasn't too terribly in depth. We will see. I will let you know the value, but I'll also let you know if I personally like the things in here. This did ship from Austin, Texas. So biased, I like it. Oh, the things are individually wrapped. So it looks like there's a couple things in each little roll. Wow, 
There seems to be a lot of things in here. I hope there's a price tag so I can evaluate the value of these things. Wow, there's a lot in here. So first, there's some bell-bottom pants, I guess. There's no price. Here we go. See if I can figure out which is which. I'm gonna guess that this is the Tanya because it says black, or is this navy? This is either $13.99 or $21.99. This system's a little confusing, not gonna lie. Not really my personal style. They feel very soft. Perhaps it's pajamas, I thought there. Oh, these are the navy. These are like MC Hammer pants. So that means this was $13.99 and this is $21.99. Once again, very soft, like super soft. Not, not my style either. This looks like a dress, a dress with like a cross back. This is a little more my style. I do love floral, I do love dresses. I bet you this is the ivory looking forward to spring, just if I were to guess. Uh, and this would be $30. It does not feel like $30. Both these things I think are fair pricing, even though they're not my style. This I don't think is worth $30. It feels pretty cheap. I would say this feels more worth like $15. Okay, this is a very long polka dot dress. Oh, no, there's legs. So I guess this is a jumpsuit. This I think is $30. Once again, very soft. Once again, not my style. $30. I would, I would value this more at 20. This did ship from Texas, and I do know a lot of people in Texas that this is more their style. I'd say it's less LA style, so this might be a good option for some people. Okay, this one I like more. Oh, perhaps this is the spring dress. See, this system is very confusing. I wouldn't know what I'm sending and getting back. So that means this one has to be $30 as well. This is the thing that I feel like has the most potential thus far. The pattern is a little cheesy, but the cut looks cute. Could just be a nice summer dress. Okay, a plain black t-shirt with a white collar and white sleeves. This is about at 25. Yet again, very, very soft. I would totally wear this around the house with my sweatpants as well. All of these things seem more like loungewear to me so far because they're very soft and they're very comfy but they're not really like my style so i would totally wear this with sweatpants for sure this i am just not a personal fan of this color or this cut yet again very soft 23.49 i don't think that that's a fair price for this i think that this feels like something you can get at walmart or target probably i hope i'm not being too brutally honest you know i always try to be honest there are a lot of things in here, which is really cool because there's a greater chance that you'll like something when you get to try on more at home. What am I looking at here? This is a very simple top with a lot of fringe here. Like I said, I could totally see this being a Texas thing. You wear it to the rodeo on your night out type thing. Yet again, all this seems to be kind of from the same material and the material is very soft on these t-shirts. This one is $24 yet again. I feel like that is probably a fair price for this one because it is more of like a going out blue blouse. <laughs> this shirt has a corset in the middle. <laughs> I don't really have anything to say. This one feels like a costume. <laughs> okay, and some just plain black leggings. I always can use leggings. The material feels pretty different. I do like that there's a little almost like detail here. I'm sure it's hard to tell. And there's also some jewelry. Wow, these are big hoops. $8.99. That is a fair price. I will give them that in my opinion. <laughs> All of this is in my opinion. Oh, it's a, it's a tennis bracelet. Not my style, but you know, it's dainty. I do like dainty things. This is valued at $12. I would say that's also fair. Things are very comfortable. Things are very cheap. Not a lot of it was my personal style, but hey, we'll try some on. This was the thing I had the highest hopes for, and I'll show you a full body in a second. It doesn't really fit me very well because it's very clingy on the hips and loose on the waist, which is not their fault. The material is kind of sheer. I can see my underwear through it. So this is the dress. It's not not cute. It's just, okay. I do like the little slit, but as you can see from the front, it clings here a little bit more and it's pretty loose. I wish it was just like completely loose or completely fitted. I don't love this one either. This is the whole dress. I like baby doll dresses. Don't really like the cut yet again. It's pretty sheer. It just feels kind of cheap, not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like a clown. <laughs> this is not flattering at all. Uh, I mean, it's soft. Okay, this shirt is very soft and very cute and I like it and I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna tuck it into high-waisted pants or uh, wear it as pajamas. These pants, not my style at all, but fit me better than I was expecting, which isn't really saying that much. So here are the pants. <laughs> They're kind of bell-bottomy. There's a lower angle of them. They're very comfortable. This this is the winner out of the whole box. 
that's the winner. We'll save the big dog for last, Stitch Fix. They have a $20 styling fee, just the same as Lunchable. If you purchase things, it does apply towards your purchase. There was a styling quiz, it was like average in depth. It was not as in depth as Lunchable, but it was more in depth than Frank and Oak. See what they said. I also think over time these boxes probably get more accurate if you do work with the same stylist. I'm not sure if you do or not, but I get the impression that you might. Their packaging is very cute. And they do a good job on that. Sounds like jewelry. Oh! I told them I like Madewell and they literally sent me Madewell. I didn't even know that they had Madewell. Okay, that is very cute. I appreciate that a lot, I really do. I did buy this box with my own money, so if these earrings are valued around $20, I will keep that since I uh, paid that shipping fee. Madewell earrings, $29.50. Maybe I'll keep them. Philosophy, a great brand. It's pretty cute. I wouldn't necessarily gravitate towards it in the store. $48. I don't think I would pay $48 for it, but maybe it's cute on. Next is J. Crew. I'm a big J. Crew fan. This is $40. It's cute. I wouldn't really go for this color, but it could be kind of like vintage cute tucked into some light wash jeans. Ooh, okay. A dress with a little tie waist. These colors are very like nautical. I don't normally go for like bright bold colors, but I do like navy. This could be cute. I feel like it's reading even more orange on camera than in real life. Could be cute. Looks like a length that I like. I do like wrap dresses. $70. After y'all watched my thrift video and now that I know I can find dresses like this that I love for $8, I am seeing the world in a whole new light. And white pants. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of white pants because so much can go wrong. These feel very high quality. These are $50. Oh, no, they're not. That makes more sense. These are $80. I was like, $50 for jeans? Not bad. $80. You know, if they're really high quality, that's not bad for jeans. We'll try some of this on, too. Okay, I have on this dress, and I like it. It's a little bold, and it's a little tight for my normal taste, but I could objectively say it was a good purchase or, like, a good pick for the stylist. So this is the dress. It definitely makes you look curvy and like hourglassy, like I would be on a boat, on a yacht. I do love things that are cinched waist, but for the cost, personally, it's just out of out of my budget. A little bold and a little tight for my preference, but I do think they did a good job of picking something that is on trend currently. Okay, I'm trying on this top and these white pants. This again feels very like preppy to me. Um, not really my style, it's a little boxy, but I can objectively say it's cute. The pants, just like the last ones, are too big and they're very low waisted, I'll show you. With the shirt like this, it looks like they fit pretty dang big around the waist, but they are very low waisted yet again. I usually wear pants that are like up here. Like they're so low waisted they show my underwear. I've never had that problem before. Yeah, white is just, I feel like not that flattering on me. Both these things are very cute. This feels like a little bit more of like a mom outfit to me. I won't be keeping it, but Compared to a lot of the other things I received today, they did an okay job. Okay, this top feels cute. It's a little long for my taste once again. I feel like this would be really cute cropped with like high-waisted pants. Quality is nice, it feels good. I feel like this is probably just a safe shirt to send to a lot of people. It's a little bit on the girly side maybe, but it would fit most body types I feel. Won't be keeping it either, but it's not terrible. All in all, I have to say, I think Wantable did a good job. There's a couple pieces that I like. I think Stitch Fix did a good job. They sent me J. Crew, which I like. They sent me Madewell, which I like. And they kind of took a bolder approach on things I generally like. Nadine West, I feel like you get the most bang for your buck. You get a lot of things. They're all really cheap. There's no shipping fee. I wouldn't really pick out any of that, to be honest. Frank and Oak, so freaking cute. So expensive. Hurts my soul. And then the Minlo Club, I think was a great deal, $60 a month, and to be able to have the shoes and the glasses for free when you sign up. I hope that this was helpful to you. I love y'all so much. Don't forget to press subscribe. I'm really trying to hit 20K. I'm trying to hit it soon, and I think I'm gonna do a giveaway once I do. I love you so much. Have the best rest of your day, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.